entering the holiday season, which means you're probably starting to freak out about how much weight you're gonna gain over these next couple months. But guess what? You don't have to gain any weight if you keep these three things in mind. Hi, I'm Erica Ballard, healthy living expert and coach. And like I just said, you can keep your weight at bay over these next two months, even though you have a thousand holiday functions and parties coming up. I'm serious, you can, but to do so, you gotta do these three things. One, make a decision before the party or gathering or whatever holiday function you plan on attending because decision fatigue is real. And if you don't make a decision before you get to your holiday party, you're going to default to your default. So if you only want one glass of wine or only want to eat one slice of pie, Make that decision beforehand and say it out loud as it will help you stay on track when surrounded by temptation. Two, after you make your decision, connect to your why. And to clarify, I'm not talking about connecting with the fact that you want to lose 30 pounds. I mean, connect with why you want to lose that weight. It could be to have more energy for your kids or to be around for your grandkids or to feel hella confident and sexy. Whatever it is, connect to it because that stuff, that's the stuff that's going to keep you going when it starts to feel hard to do. And now three, start using the phrase, no, I don't want it. And I say this because so many of us give excuses as to why we're only having one drink or passing on pie, we say things like, I'm just trying to drink a little bit less. Well, I kind of want to diet right now, so like, I really shouldn't have it. But you see, those excuses give an opportunity to push back. That's sales 101. So stop giving people a reason to push back. Hence why I'm telling you to use the phrase, no, I don't want to when someone offers you something you've decided you don't want because that kind of bluntness throws people off as they don't expect it. And when that happens, they usually stop pushing, which means you get what you want without having to fight for it or being mean about it. Now, real quick, I know it's only the first week of November and we have some time before the holiday functions really pick up. And that's actually why I filmed this video because I want you to start practicing these three things right now so you can ingrain them into your behavior before the holiday season really gets cooking. And with that, I wanna remind you that if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one health coaching with me to ensure you stay healthy this holiday season and beyond, you can sign up for a free breakthrough call at the link in the comments below or in my bio. And if you like this video and think others might too, go ahead and like it and share it now.